Traders, happy weekend. It's Sunday night here in lovely Perth. It's been raining a lot today. Winter, Southern Hemisphere. Yep. Um, but it's a little later than I would have liked. I've got um, some tax stuff that I have to deal with tomorrow. So I got that out of the way. And now just time for some back testing. I uh, forgot the laptop I was working during the day um, yesterday. And I, I didn't bring the laptop in to do... Uh, the back test, but I've noticed that obviously with the background noise of the airport, it's not uh, really the best, so it's probably not the end of the world. So we'll do <clears throat> look, we'll do three months. I, I would like to do six months, we'll see how we go time time wise. But um, it's a euro USD four hour, uh, it's a Bollinger Band method. Look, I like to call it the banana split method on the forum. Uh, I call it banana split method mainly because. I guess when you're doing this stuff, and for people that do back test, psychologically, it can be just a little bit tiresome. So I think you know, let's do some banana split testing. You know, all those happy memories come back of banana splits and everything. And yeah, that's why I call it that. And I mean, again, it's sort of when I come to a setup, it's sort of you know, this needs to go uh, for a buy. This needs to face northwards, this is southwards. It's sort of splitting. You know, you got the midline in the middle, the banana, well, no, the ice cream, the ice cream's in the middle. Yeah, anyway, shit. Let's focus on, <laughs> let's focus on the back testing. So, over the four hour chart, I just like to bring up the daily. Are these pe period separators as well? Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure what they represent. Yeah, like a week, maybe. Let's uh let's do this. So really, if I look at the daily, nothing much has happened. So we'll continue onwards and upwards. And this is just a <clears throat> period 20, just two times standard deviation. I didn't like this here because it, uh, it went through quite aggressively. So, and the context of the situation again is, you know, I still look, I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, I could probably get, you know, something out of it, but you know, that didn't happen. So. This is just a 55 day moving average and a 200 day moving average. So I'd like to see that above that. It's just a guy like, you know, with this, uh, if you're watching and you're saying, oh, you know, you, you say you're from the next Forex now form, it's more the principles of, you know, what world teaches. And so I don't want to go on a spiel on that, but it's not, you don't just take the trade mindlessly and rely on the indicator. It's more just a general guide. Um, So a bit too close now. A little frustrating because it's starting to emerge a little bit, but yeah, we won't. Mm. Won't take that. Okay, so it's I mean it's respected a little bit. Let's so check on that side. Really not a lot of space between that. Um, I'm just going to review that because it's very close. Okay. Oops. Might see some range bound stuff. <clears throat> if you can bust out of that uh, resistance level, it's not really on that, but I was going to say that, you know, we'd be in for a buy potentially. It's just 
cold range bound, it's definitely doing that. So I don't really play, you know, range bound stuff to be honest. I guess because when that happens, you know, you're like, ah, psychologically, you're a bit, you know. All right. Daily uptrend. Now I'm watching for the bands. Watch for the bands. I want to be good. You should just be nice. It's a pretty big weekend, actually. Mm. So, that. that was probably <laughs> that was probably an entry there. Um, let's see. Not great, but got in late. We'll see. This is my first trade. I haven't, I haven't actually tweaked the data center settings, so I'm assuming it's going to be. Oh, I don't know my calculator. What is going on? Come on, man. I did an update, so, so I believe um, once I get my tax return back, I'll be getting a new laptop. I think I'm going to get one. You can, there's a little stylus thing you can draw on the screen, which would be good. Oh, it's updated a little bit. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Woo. Yep. This is one percent each. Uh, one a one R, and the other one is an open uh, profit target, but it's got a uh, trailing exit. Can do it, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um. Look, I'm I'm using a little more discretion when it comes to. I noticed on the pound USD, I have a rule if it doesn't trigger with the next two candles, but that wasn't too bad. Get blasted. Thought I was down. Actually, thought I was just gonna get. Um, we'll see open positions if my lot sizing was correct. Oh, okay, so I've just times it by 10. I right, see, so I'll be closing out, you know, now. The reason why I did that, it was just hovering around that a little bit, so. Um, Oh, okay, no, so it is. It was correct. Oh, perfect. All right, so the data setting, the default one was, was it. Well, that's spectacular. All right. So that's, uh, that's how I play, guys. Like, you know, I missed that, so I could have made even more. You know, um, an individual from the forum, Andre, uh, you know, warned me about this a little bit, and that's why I was a little reluctant, and it did return, but, you know, that's why the, the wider stop loss helped. So that's good, because I've had a few losing trades in a row, so... And that happens, but it's, you know, it feels nice to win. Okay. Oh, and that's 1%. Okay. All right. Perfect. It's good. And so, yeah, I, I close it out with a bit of discretion. If it comes back down in the midline, 20 day moving average here with the Bollinger Bands, I'll, I'll close it out. So that was good. Hey, Timmy Sykes. He is putting up some good videos. Hmm. Crispy M&Ms as well. Probably not the most professional thing to eat. Them. Well, I'm back testing. You know, I'm trading. Doing some um, research and development.
Okay, so it's. Hmm. I'm just gonna pass. I just wanted. I wanted to test it a little bit because it was just an all-time high. Currently, right now on the dot, I'm, that that concerns me a little, a little bit. I probably would have survived the you know, the pullback. We're approaching 18. Look, I'm probably going to call it. I'm getting a little tired, uh, and you know I know that's a weak excuse, but with the back testing, you're going to be really focused to execute some good quality trades. So I'm going to call it, guys. 18 months, one trade done. Uh, you know, so that was. One and a half percent return. So it's been uh, six months of actual testing. I run 12 months of uh, data just to develop support and resistance levels or zones. So yeah, return 1.5 percent. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.